So are these that. neural pods part of the mucosal lining? Mm-hmm. Are yeah. they involved with leaky gut in some way? Well, I mean, I think, I mean, the one of the things I've thought about doing just for fun is like teaching a class on all the different types of cells that lie in our gut, because we're learning new ones all the time. In the same way, we like know very little about the microbiome itself. You know, our human cellular biology is really complicated. And in you imagine the bottom of the villi is this stem cell, right? And the stem cell can turn into a goblet cell. It can turn into a neuropod cell. It can turn into a regular like endothelial cell. It can turn into, there's all kinds of things it can like turn into. And then you get this lining and the amount of goblet cells that make mucus versus the amount of immune cells that are coming in, dendritic cells versus the amount of uh, neuropod cells is all variable depending on the environment and how that set, that stem cell kind of core growth comes. 